Welcome back to What's Good Wednesday, where we like talking about a little bit about what's going well in the world to balance out all the negativity. And with me today, I have our project manager, Roger Berry. Welcome, Roger. Happy to be here. Roger uh, is our project manager, but he uh, he joined Signal a couple of years ago and joined our new city center branch that we launched out in D.C. And in a short time here, he has proven himself to be very valuable, very intelligent and very capable and has gotten promoted to be our project manager and has done an amazing job with that over the last year of keeping us focused, having our projects not only be finished, but finished early. And to do it all during this pandemic, it's pretty impressive. Um, in addition to that, Roger has also a uh, business with his wife. Uh, they have a Barry coaching and a consulting uh, that they do for life coaching. Um, and in addition to that, they just had, I think, a new addition to their family. So um, I wanted to invite Roger to share a little bit about what's going good with him, whether it's professionally or personally. So Roger, tell us a little bit about what's going good with you. Well, thank you, Felipe. I really appreciate uh, the opportunity of sharing uh, with you and also with the community, uh, we know what it really means to be part of the uh, Signal family. Uh, like you mentioned, I started out uh, working uh, in our uh, flagship branch, City Center, and that really gave me an opportunity to see from the front end, you know, what it's like to uh, to work with our different members. And then uh, I was I was promoted to be uh, you know to be a project manager, in which I really get the chance to interact with all the different departments to really see the ins and outs of all every, everything they do to develop, deliver value to our members. And I really enjoy being able, like you said, keeping our, our, our projects on track and really being able to uh, to learn a lot, everything about our finances and everything about working with uh, with our community here in the Washington DC area. And, and Roger, I gotta say, one thing that I've worked with a lot of project managers in the past, and, and one of the things that sometimes I've run into is that, you know, project managers are so proud in what they're trying to do that they, they want to have a lot of control. And and with you, it's not about control. It's about partnership, about working together as a team. Um, it, can you explain a little bit about your philosophy about what your role is as a project manager and, and how you're so effective with other departments? Absolutely. That's a really good question because I I see a project the project manager role as being an integrator, right? You are the centerpiece in which you bring so many different uh, components of the projects uh, together, uh, but you're not necessarily, even though you're an expert in your field, even even though you, you know uh, a lot about project management, but you really have to work in collaboration and suicide Felipe with others, right? You have to really um, to really appreciate and value what every single member of the team has to bring to the to the to the table, and you really get to learn a lot. You really have to be open and receptive to not only to bring your own experience, but also learn from and you know from the project uh, team members. So I think that's uh, really having that collaboration makes the uh, the project be more dynamic and really uh, be fun and be very uh, interactive. So that's why I don't think that one person should be a know-it-all. I think everyone really plays a very important role, but in the end, we're all part of the same team and we all want uh, the, the project to be, and the organization to be successful. Well, I personally am very grateful because you are definitely the best project manager I've had the privilege of working with in my entire career. So thank you for that. Thank you, Felipe, that was very kind of you. I really appreciate uh, that. So, you know, your, your business with your wife, you know, your life coaches, How's that going on with the pandemic and with everything? I can only imagine that people are definitely having a lot of challenges right now. That's exactly right. Uh, my wife and I, uh, Lee Berry, we have a, uh, a consulting firm in which we uh, help others to really understand better what it is that they want to achieve in terms of their profession, in terms of their careers. And right now it's challenging because of everything that's happening. But uh, it's really, we really find a lot of purpose and satisfaction just working with uh, people who just, uh, they just really want to know what's next for their careers because it's not always very clear cut, right? You find, you graduate from college and you need to find a job and then you, you, it's very easy to be lost, you know, going from job to job, but really being able to find what's, you know, what you're passionate about, it's something that takes effort and and that's what we're here for to really help others understand uh you know what are the different life choices that, that they have because it's something that you want to be very intentional about and sometimes you just need a little bit of help to really find you help you find that path uh to you know to be satis you know satisfied with your career well that's great that you help out others that way um 
I know you have a lot of advice and tips probably, but is there one tip that you want to give out there that you could share with others that might be looking for that kind of advice? Absolutely. I think that, and that's something that I've seen you, Felipe, really uh, put into practice very well. And it's like, always be willing to learn, uh, learn from others, uh, utilize a lot of the resources that you have. Uh, I'm always listening to different podcasts, uh, you know, reading books online and really uh, being able to always just stay hungry, right? Always being able to improve yourself. I just actually uh, finished a certification on business analysis in which you, Felipe, were very instrumental in supporting, uh, you know, my own professional development. So always being able to, because things are always uh, changing, uh, things are always in flux. So always being able to uh, to be reading, to be learning, to be uh, uh, part of an online uh, event. That's all. That's something that is always going to be helpful for you uh, in whatever your next career move is. Well, thank you for that advice and congratulations on that certification. So, you know, personally, you, you know, you have a new baby. You have two beautiful daughters. Um, how's all that going with this pandemic? Yeah, I think I think that's you know it's been a blessing. I mean, I'm not getting we're not getting too much sleep right now because that's part <laughs> of uh, being being a dad. Uh, but yes, we just recently uh, had had a daughter. She's uh, coming up on three months old now, and she and we're both very blessed and very and she's very beautiful. And my older daughter is two and a half as well, so she's talking. She's she's you know being very interactive. I'm trying to teach her. Uh, you know, we're trying to uh, to raise them both bilingual in English and Spanish, uh, and it's going. You know, there's some challenges, but at the same time, we're also trying to uh, to find ways in which they can always learn. We go to the park uh, here in, in the Kensington area, trying to uh, always be active. Uh, uh, you know, teaching um, in you know different words, you know, the colors, the alphabet. So always, you know, always having to. Uh, even though it, right now the situation uh, is, you know, can be a little bit challenging, but you always, you know, it's it's something that you create, right? That environment in which they can they can grow, uh, really uh, being happy, being safe, and 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 you know, for them to be uh, both uh, very successful uh, later in life. Well, that's great that you're teaching that. I will say that I I prided myself in in speaking only Spanish to my daughter for the first two years of her life. And then my son came and I don't know what happened, but I, I just dropped the ball and I just <laughs> failed him horribly. So I'm trying to make up for it now. So right. um, stick to it because I will say it has benefited my daughter tremendously um, and I, I need to make it up to my son. So exactly. um, it's never too late to just pick it back up. So. Never too late. <laughs> Said, you, know, educate, you always learn something new every day. So I truly believe exactly. it. sometimes you got to look for it, but you always learn something. So, Roger, you know, to wrap things up, two quick questions I like to ask everybody at the end of these interviews. Um, my first question to you is, what two things do you enjoy most about working at Signal? I, I, what I really like about being at Signal is that uh, it really, there's a lot happening in terms of, of objectives and goals, but it never uh, ceases to, uh, to really uh, surprise me how uh, people are, how approachable, how it really does feel like, you know, they were part of the family at all different levels of the organization, right? And I've been, uh, you know, I've worked in the branch and now I'm working uh, in, the, in, the, in the back office. And I think that everyone feels it doesn't matter if you are uh, working in operations, if you're working in, in, in finance, if you're working with the executive team, everyone is always very approachable and they're always willing to listen to what you have to say and to really uh, help you in, 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 in any way they can. And you don't always encounter that uh, in, 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 in any organization. It, sometimes it feels very layer. People are not as approachable, but that's not the case of working here with Signal. And that's something that I really, truly appreciate of being here. That's good. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, and last question, who in life inspires you or motivates you? Uh, I would say my mother, only because I've seen her, and I think that might sound a little bit of a, a standard answer, but that's 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 the truth, right? And I think that is because uh, she's she's she has exemplified a person in which um, is always willing to uh, to move forward with life. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. Uh, I always seen her uh, always doing the right thing, always doing right by others, and it doesn't matter how hard the situation gets. And I know that. I know there's a lot of people who are going through a lot of difficulties, but really uh, sticking to what's right and always moving forward and always being, uh, you know, mo you know, motivated to uh, and really being positive 
trying to be positive in the face of difficulties uh, because things will always you know change and hopefully for the better so that's that's a that's someone who has been tremendously uh you know influential in my life well i i love that answer i think our mothers are I, I, very influential. I know you and I were talking about our mothers earlier and my mother um, during this COVID trying to keep them engaged and, and, and safe. It's it's a challenge, but uh, but they've done so much for us. They've been there for us. You know, it's only right that we help them out. So exactly. Cheers uh, okay. to all our mothers out there and hope that we can take care of you during this time. So exactly. Roger, thank you for everything that you do for Signal, for your family, for the community. Um, and thank you for being with me today. I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and staying safe, and we will see you all next week. Thank you, Felipe, for having me uh, on the, uh, the, uh, the call today, and it's been a, a pleasure to speak with you today. Have a great day, Roger. You too. Thank you.